Just want to show a comparison between Boxy Pixel on my left and the Analog Pocket on my right. They both do very similar things, but they might appeal to different type of people or different type of gamers. It all depends on what you want to do. So if you look here, Boxy Pixel, they have many different types that you can use. There are metal aluminum shell for your original devices. So this is strictly for the original device that you're going to be modifying. Sometimes he sells them online, sometimes he doesn't. So that can make a difference. So if you look over here, this is the Game Boy Advance, S Advance SP Unhinge. This is one of the items I will be showing you. It can be a little bit complicated, depending on your level of expertise when it comes to modifying retro games. And so, but it, once it's done, it's really, really nice. I can tell you that much. It has a really premium finish. You can't, you just, you can't replace metal. Metal really is nice. I, that being said, the analog pocket is beautiful as well. So it depends on what, what you're into, what you want to do. Now the box pixel has many different things. Maybe you just want to spend a little bit of money just to replace the shell. So you would need to replace the, the shell, the screen, the button. So you're still looking at, you know, it could be a little bit, it can get a little bit of a, a little expensive. So, but you can bring your old Game Boy Advance up to modern standards if you already have one. Now, obviously the wait for the pocket could be a long time and we all know what that's looking like now. Now they also have similar items to for the Switch as well, which I will show as well, where I have a full black Joy-Con with, with gold buttons, I believe. I will, I will show it afterwards. All right, so let's uh, go ahead into the video. All right, so first up, I want to compare the Game Boy Advance SP Unhinge to the Analog Pocket. Right here is the Game Boy Advance SP Unhinge. As you can tell, it is a very, very clean product. It does take a lot of modification on your own, but it is very good when it, when it is ready to go. And let me throw in, let's put in this every drive here. I could just turn it on for like. Now this is all original hardware, so you'll get the original Game Boy startup right here. Okay, let's just start with the last game that was loaded. Looks like the last game was Pokemon. Plays perfectly, as you can tell, it's regular Game Boy. Screen is funny play, has different level of brightness. You just gotta press here, back at the center. It's very, it does require some soldering. It's a little bit tedious, but once it's done, it's done and it is really nice. Like I said, this depends on your level of expertise. As with the analog pocket, you already get it ready to go. It's probably the reason why it is so popular. You just get it and you start it up. That's it, there's nothing else to it. You get the adapters, you can do even more. Now, in my personal opinion, where it really, where the analog pocket really goes above and beyond is the way that you can play some of these older games. So that was one of my biggest gripes of the original, of the analog. Sorry, not the analog pocket, but the Game Boy Advance SP Unhinge. So when you turn, this is how it's gonna look when you're having it with the Game Boy cartridge. You stick it out on the bottom, and I'm not a big fan of that. I don't, I don't like the way it looks. It doesn't help for when you put it on a stand or anything, but it's just, I just don't like the way it looks. And also, whenever you play Game Boy Advance, the screen is always gonna be smaller, always that's how it was back in the day with the Game Boy Advance just to get the resolution right. Meanwhile, let's just go straight to the game we just loaded. Lower the volume. Now look at the screen. This is where it really does make a big difference. That screen size playing the original compared to the new one. You can't beat it. Honestly, if you're just 
going around playing, let's say, just Game Boy Advance games, this is not a bad option for you. It's a lot of work, but it's not a bad option. If you want to have multiple options and play it really on a nice big screen, this is, now my pocket really takes a kick on, kick on that one. All right, so let's try, let me just show you some of the other analog, sorry, boxy pixel products that I have. All right, here we have the regular original Game Boy Advance. Now this, if you like this form factor, which I do, I like both the form, both form factors of the Game Boy and of the Game Boy Advance. This is a good form factor. Just like with the other one, USB-C charging, headphone jacks here also. With the unhinged, you have to solder on the headphone jack just to get it in right. So it really works great. I have no complaints. I'd recommend this one to anybody as well. Runs perfectly fine. Now, the same thing like I mentioned before, if you play Game Boy Color games or Game Boy games, you're gonna get a smaller screen because of the resolution. So that is something to consider. Now, another item that I have here is the Game Boy Macro. Now this you take by modifying a DS Lite. You take off the top part. Some more soldering you have to be done. You, put, you move the speaker up here. This is also a great option. Now I use the Easy, Easy Flash Omega, which also gives you a smaller case where you can put it in where it really just fits perfectly. So there are many ways you can maybe repurpose some of your old hardware. These are options in case you really want something now and the Unlock Pocket is only available till 2023. So there's, there's, uh, there's many things you can do. Now with this one specifically, you cannot play Game Boy games and Game Boy Color games because once the Nintendo DS came out, the original and the light, you were no longer able to play the older hardware, only Game Boy Advance games. But with the Easy Flash or the EverDrive, you can just start up. Let's just do. If you start, you could play the original game. So let's do uh, your Game Boy game. There you go. And there's. I think this is gold. But you're playing on a smaller screen. This really analog pocket would probably win out. All right. One last thing to show you. Here, this is the Nintendo Switch Joy-Con right here. Now, this one is really nice. I'd recommend, if you don't get anything else from BoxyPixel, I'd recommend the Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons. It is a little bit work, but once it's done, it's really beautiful. I took the old gray ones that I got from the first Switch that I had, and I put it on the OLED model. It's, it came out really good. It's pure aluminum, minus the buttons that were originally there, but I'd recommend this if nothing else. All right, if you made it this far, thank you for watching the video. Please like and subscribe.